Good morning, family. Welcome to day two of my redemption. <laughs> it's day three. It's day two, honey. We started Monday. Yeah. It's day two. Okay. The other video was just because we hid it ah. in the hole, so we had to release that. Oh, So okay. today is, yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. I'm holding true to my word. So right now, Donald and I are about to meet friends for breakfast and true Peggy fashion. We're late. <laughs> now, I laid my stuff out yesterday for sure, for sure. I laid out my clothes. I was going to wear this. I was going to dress up. And I was like, I don't want to dress up at the last minute. So I just pulled out what I could because it's laundry time. And uh, yeah, laundry is way overdue. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. First thing in the morning. We might go this afternoon. I don't know. But laundry has to be done because we've extended <laughs> we've extended I was like oh I can wear this uh, no it needs to be washed oh I can wear that no that needs to be washed so yeah we normally wash every Sunday and we just have to stick to that because it works well for our life but anyway we're going to this place in St. Louis called Gingham's yes. is that the name of the Gingham's and if you've never been here, they have pretty good food, reasonable prices. It's along the line of what you would pay at one of these chain restaurants like uh, Applebee's or Chili's or something like that. But their, their breakfast is really, really good. Exactly. Do you like the breakfast, babe? I do. And that's saying something. I like St. Louis food. This is a, a restaurant in St. Louis where I like the food. Now, I know I give St. Louis a hard time, but I like this place. So... I'm looking forward to this, and we're pulling into the parking lot now. We're pulling it, and I pr and look, they got people outside waiting. See, Tim and Lee gonna kill us, cause <laughs> they was here on time, and they picked something closer to us to be accommodating. Yeah. Lee and Tim, we're sorry. It's my, <laughs> it's my fault. Please forgive us. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call Lee and let her know that we're here. And uh, I'll pick you guys up inside the restaurant. All right. Chicken and waffles. Oh, that's baby. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Ooh, that looks delicious. Okay, I got one. So you see, she Let me know if you guys need anything. Hey, baby, slide in some. Hey, family. So we have made it to the restaurant. We've been in here running our mouth. And so I haven't picked up the camera, but I didn't forget. So anyway. I got the chicken and waffles. Donald has the pancakes and what is that, Donald? Omelet? <laughs> pancakes, oh. eggs with cheese and sausage. That's all he got. I know that wasn't a good angle, y'all, but I'm doing my best. Who is in the building? What up, though? Forever <laughs> tripping, forever tripping. Forever tripping. What up, though? <laughs> <laughs> Tell we got some good breakfast, yeah. too. Right, 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 right. right. So, we, had to, we had to see these guys out and uh, make sure we had breakfast with them before they left. So They're trying to got, shame us. Yeah, we had, we're trying to be the healthy route because, I mean, we're going to eat something bad later. You're right. <laughs> yeah. We got the veggie omelet and the pancakes. But I thought we were going to get some hash browns, but I guess we did. But we got the same thing. Yeah. We get the same thing. <laughs> so if you so if you are into the RV content and you have not seen Lee and Tim over at Forever Tripping, please go over, subscribe, tell them we sent you. You won't be disappointed. All right, fam. Hey guys, so we just picked Trey up over at the big house, and so I got another package. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't like to be influenced by influencers when it comes to scents and stuff like with candles and stuff like that because you never know what you're getting. But I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers. I probably have been following her. I think she was one of the first people that I followed. Uh, her name is Pretty Bree M U A for makeup artist. But anyway, she okay. I love Fig Newtons, right? I love a good Fig Newton. And so she was on her channel the other day and she was talking about she found this fig lotion and body wash. And she was going on and on about how good it smells, how good it smells. And I was like, I hate when people influence me like that because now I got to buy it. So I was influenced. And so I'm going to uh, open this up. It was ordered from Amazon. 
Now, I'm going to be honest about it. Now, if it's a good smell, now, it wasn't even expensive. It's the same price as like a bath and body work or something like that. I want to say this was between seven and eight dollars, I want to say. But it is soap and glorious limited edition, fresh as fig, nourishing body lotion. Okay, so let, let, let me see what we're working with over here. Ooh, but she was just going on about how good it smell. Ooh. I, I, I don't smell anything. Let me see. Oh, now that is. It's very soft. Donald, come smell this and tell me what you think. It doesn't smell like what I thought a fig would smell like. <laughs> but it's, it's nice. It's a nice scent. It's very girly. It's very feminine and soft. Oh, I like that. It is flowery. It's, let me let me see what some of the flowery and is. sweet. I like that. You know how sometimes you can look at the back of something and it'll tell you what the notes are on the back, but I don't see that in the print is so small that I, I can't read it in here. It just says a rich yet lightweight texture that's easily absorbed for velvety smooth filling skin. But anyway, I like it. It's, it's very soft and very feminine. Very soft and feminine. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Now, I'm going to tell you, if I was at the store and this, but Donald, come feel my skin. i like, serious. Oh, my God. Now, I would buy it not only for the scent, but for the feel. Feel my skin that I just rubbed it on, honestly. <laughs> don't don't be all up on me now. Silky. Don't, don't be all that's up why, on that's me, That's why you call me player, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, body wash that. and body lotion. But feel that. Come here, Trey, feel your grandma's hands. <laughs> Come over here and feel your grandma's hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, don't that feel so? Yeah. I, listen. <laughs> it's, it's very feminine. It's for the feminine woman. I just never thought myself to be super feminine, but it smells really, really good. And I am telling you, it, it does give your skin that soft, soft feel. Because all I use, y'all, is Jergens. Like, I'm not a perfume girl. I never have been. I got Louis Vuitton perfume that I bought when I bought my bags, and I've never cracked it open. So I don't wear perfume and stuff like that. But this smells really good and feminine. Like, it's a good church scent. Or if you go into a tea or something like that. And so I also got... The body wash. Cameron is the pro. Come here, camera. Come here, camera. <laughs> Feel your grandma's skin. Ooh, it's soft. Mm, smell. It smell good. Where y'all just go from? We, we just hit it. Oh, okay. So I got it the body wash. It does. It, it's like going to church. It's easy like a Sunday morning. But anyway, yeah. So if I, I'm telling you, Okay, so now that I felt felt it and smell it, I would definitely buy this at the store. It is amazing. I'm going to leave the link in the description. If you're interested, go ahead and order it. And when you order it from my description box, your girl get a little kickback. So go ahead and support your girl. But anyway, it is Soap and Glory Freshest Fig. The body wash says refreshing and the lotion says nourishing. So I'm going to use this tonight when I go to bed because, you know, when <laughs> look at me selling this stuff like I'm, I'm, my life depends on it. But I'm going to tell you, Donald loves a fresh bath with a nice scent. Yes. I have to say, back up off me, player, back up off me. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do it. But anyway, I'm glad I purchased this. I really like it. So I'm sure you'll like it too. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So I will see you guys when we get back to the RV. We're about to take Trey to work. He is a working man. And uh, we'll see you at the house for Okay, I'll call you back. All right, so.
They have boom boxes. Oh, that's a wireless box. How much is that? $55. Cameron, is this for your you got a gaming headset for $15? That's a good price. $14.99. That's not what you use for your game? Mm -mm. What's this? That is beautiful. This is, this is the digital camera. For kids? Okay. That's cute. A kid's camera. They got some blow dryers in this. Ooh. Now, oh, and they got, uh, how much is this? I might need that. Oh, this is $15. This is a hair straightener for them yeah I might get some <laughs> guys I just want to say this is the best deal that I've ever seen this is a well made bike look at that it was $1800 now he only wants $650 if you come in here and buy it he say he'll give me 10% off to Starbucks today and got DJ a treat. He has his pup cup. Hey, Pookie. Pookie. He said, don't bother me. Pookie. He loves his pup cup. <laughs> and I got Cameron hooked. Love the matcha. <laughs> Donald, don't bother him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me he got it on his nose. <laughs> DJ, DJ, wait, 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 wait. Put it back wait. down. <laughs> DJ will hurt you about that pup cup. I think he likes it. Donald. Okay. Give him the pup cup. <laughs> you see, he stepped out. He's going to beat you up. Yeah. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights
so we have made it back to the RV. It's a little hot in here. I want to say it's like 90 degrees outside. RV is reading 90, which is really weird. It should be like right at 75 or something. I don't know what's going on, but are you hot? A little bit. A little bit. We got Cameron with us here. She, when we went over to the house, she was like, I'm going with my grandma. But anyway, do you guys remember these uh, viral dumplings? So we got these from Target. I, well, I got these from Target yesterday when I was doing some shopping. And these are pork and vegetables. But Cameron says she's had the, would you have the chicken? Yes. She's had chicken and vegetable. But these are the only kind I've ever had. And so this is her first time trying them. This whole entire uh, sleeve of dumplings is how many calories? I don't think it's that bad. 370. That's not bad. So anyway, it's six in there. Let, let me show them what it looks like. After I dressed them up. Yeah, she's dressed them up. So she's put sriracha and soy sauce on them. I know the girls are putting like some kind of oil on them. Chili oil chili oil but we couldn't find any at Target so we just gonna have to do what we do but I told Cameron this is the way I ate mine with the sriracha on them and they were really really good so do you like them mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. okay so she likes it she's Mikey she likes it y'all remember the Mikey commercial <laughs> Cameron is funny because <laughs> she um, she saw a TikTok with an excerpt from different world and it intrigued her. So she's right now binge watching Different World. So what episode and season are you on? I'm on season four, episode 21. And you I've, I've only been watching it for like six, seven days and I'm already on this season. Yeah. So I, I love that for her because it prepares the kids for college life. I mean, college won't be exactly like it, but she can get an idea of what it is. But I'm glad that she's watching it. Like, really, I am super excited. So we that. found an Amazon overstock, overstock store, and it was a total waste of time because <laughs> we didn't find anything in there that we liked. Uh, Cameron found something in there, and... They're still in the package, though. We gotta take them out and pull them out. Okay. So Cameron found some, I guess these are house slippers. This is how he had them melted. I mean, how he had them packed. So I'm gonna open them and show you these shoes because they're pretty funny. Look in that drawer right there and hand me the scissors, Cam fam. All right. And they were only ten dollars. How do they feel when you hit them on in the store? Are they comfy? They're, mm -hmm. They're very comfy. Did you get the right size? Yeah. Your feet is tiny. It's one size for all my hands. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. So one size fit all. That that's pretty big because my hand is there. But yeah, so these are super cute. They look like tennis shoes, but they're really big and fluffy. And so she got these, like I said, they were $9.99 plus tax. So I think we paid like $10.51 for them or something like that. I should have got me a pair, but I mean, I need support. Well, you know, when you get old, you gotta have some support, baby. And these shoes have no support, but she liked them while she was in there. So we went ahead and got them for her. But if you're interested, um, it's, it was just a little guy in there. And I feel like, you know how you can buy, I, I don't know how to achieve it, but I know that some people get like big boxes of like returns or stuff that they're not selling. And you pick a box, it could cost you $500 or it could cost you $200. Like you pick the box. I've seen videos on it, but I don't know how to do it. And I feel like this guy just got a bunch of stuff and he's just selling it because all of his things in there are just random like they don't go together you know and I was looking for some baby items because you know again I'm going to be a new grandma and um, it was just nothing it was I, I, I didn't find anything but I'm glad Cameron found something so nothing. yeah but that's all for today fam like I say I'm so sorry it's a short video but I'm trying to hold true to my word but tomorrow I will make up and make a, a longer video. But today was kind of short because 
things just kind of got rushed. But anyway, thank you for hanging out with us today. I will see you in the next video. So until then, bye-bye.